Hello and welcome to the latest update on the D-Day mock that uh, James and I are building. I think it's probably the last update before it's finished really. Um, just give you a little idea, I've got a cut of Higgins boats on the sea there. I just quickly stood up some figures we got yesterday. Haven't got any guns or anything, some Americans. Coming out of Higgins boat. And uh, pan across. James put some British soldiers on. That's these guys. And pan even further across. You can sort of see the cliffs now. Mainly finished. We got these four new German guys last night. They're all just standing up there. Reference really. Finished off one bunker really. This one here. See the machine gun sticking out there. Uh, I stuck in another machine gun nest. I like those. I think they're really cool. So two of those. Two bunkers. One bunker I've not been able to finish it because I'm, I'm missing a bit. I can't find one piece of logo. So I don't know what to do there. Maybe I was thinking about having a destroyed bunker, but I'm not sure no, they actually blew the bunkers up. Only threw grenades in and put flame flowers and the uh, the battleships were shelling them, but they actually destroyed the bunkers because they were actually strong enough to blow the bunkers because they were all reinforced concrete. Um, this uh, piece of the defence with the barbed wire is finished. It looks pretty, pretty good. See this British guy, look, he's going to try and get over. Oh no, oh no, I can't move. <coughs> oh dear, he's dead. So that's the idea. But then they come along with their Bangalore torpedoes, shove it in there, like that. <coughs> and then get through and take the fortifications. Uh, stuck a little trench behind here. This runs from this bunker to this bunker. And the German troops can run along there. They're coming from, I guess, this the only way any of the little steps I've put here. And they run into the two bunkers. And there's this German officer here. You see he's got some binoculars and he's standing on top of the he's standing on top of it and he's looking at the sea and he's saying the mighty fleet of two ships. Or the mighty fleet of hundreds of ships. And he's saying, Oh my god, what are we going to do? Uh, got some damaged German guns here. Uh, not really used them over the years. They've got bits of fallen off. Got a flak 88 and I think some sort of howitzer. Over there we've got some more vehicles. Got a damaged German tank. German lorry. Woolly Jeep. Uh, Katengrad, German Katengrad. And a, an American truck. So some of those might be in it, but maybe not. I haven't got, I'd, like, I'd like to have a Sherman tank. I mean, I haven't got one of those, because that maybe could have come off the, that could maybe have come by the, one of the LSTs, or was it landing, landing craft tank, LST, I'm not sure. And um, also they had the tanks that floated, they had like uh, skirts around them, and they floated, they, they, got off the, they got off the landing craft and they basically swam ashore, miles ashore, these tanks under, and a lot of them sank, because they, the waters are very choppy. They were only designed really for um, calm waters. And apparently the, the tank crews were, were bailing bailing out, if you can imagine, bailing out a tank out to sea to get to land. And I think that's it. Oh, there's one more thing. James built his little mock last night and he said, I've got to do, I've got to stick it on a review, Daddy. So, okay, there it is. There's the, the little mock my son made last night. That's quite cute actually. See? Got some German soldiers and some British First World War soldiers there. That's obviously not part of the D-Day mock, that. And that's really it. Oh yeah. And that's the last thing we've got. We've got a little mortar to make up. A mortar. That's going to go in the uh, German side. Maybe fire off top one of the bunkers. And that's it really, I think, um, 
I might make the sea a bit wider because I've got all these, I've got more blue pieces. So I might, I might put the sea a little bit further out. But I think that's it. Hopefully the next video I'll be showing you is of the finished article. Oh, one more thing. I like this sort of like shell crater. I don't really like these ones, I don't think it's enough sand, disrupted sand, so I might put a bit more in there. And that's it really, so thank you very much and bye bye.